Hi, I'm Mike Burgoyne. I'm an assistant professor of practice. I teach in the International Security Studies program in the uh, School of Government and Public Policy. I'm also a retired U.S. Army colonel, uh, where I was an armor officer and then later a foreign area officer. I served as the defense attache in Kabul, Afghanistan, and also senior defense official in Guatemala. So I think good policy comes from a combination of practical experience, but also rigorous academic study. So for me, I think a lot of times when you have bad policy, it's because people haven't done the work to really understand a problem, understand a region or understand a country. So for me, it's absolutely invaluable that people that are working on the policy field, that are working in security, understand the problems that they're working on. So that's why I'm a professor in security studies. I, I think this is very important for people to know if they're gonna make policy. Sure, yes, so I think as far as instruction goes, uh, I'm more practically minded. I like to give my students, because most of my students, uh, typically in the International Security Studies program, uh, are gonna be mid-career professionals. So I try to give them some practical tools they can use as they deal with very complex problems. Tools, guidelines, frameworks, uh, that, that, they can, that they can then use on, on the most complex and difficult problems that are out there. A lot of times the Americas are overlooked. They're not seen as part of the global security system. So my research is really aimed at, at placing the Western Hemisphere within the global security system and understanding where the hemisphere fits, where the alliance structure fits in the greater uh, global security infrastructure. So I've been to a lot of places uh, and my research right now takes me to a lot of places. So I was just in Mexico. I'm gonna go to Mexico again. Uh, I've got to go to El Salvador, Guatemala, Colombia, Brazil, uh, London. So all these trips are fantastic, but it's keeping me on the road quite a bit. Uh, so at the moment, I don't have any plans to go anywhere else, but one place I would like to get out to is East Asia. So maybe I'll put that on the calendar at some point. So I like to write fiction. I've been uh, a struggling uh, novelist now for several years, trying to get some novels put together. Uh, I really like writing fiction. I think it's an interesting way to, uh, you know, describe things and provide ideas to people that you can't sometimes do through nonfiction. So something that has been it kind of reoccurred and, and has been hitting me lately is this idea that everyone has value. And this is a very army value system type idea that you're given a team and then no matter who is on this team with you, everyone has to contribute to success. And so I, I've been thinking about this a lot, that everyone has value. So everyone you work with has something they can contribute to the mission. And I think this is very important in whatever field you're in. Uh, and then a more like kind of practical, uh, kind of you can do it right now piece of advice is meditate. So this is something I tried to do when I was younger, but I never really fully got into the practice until recently, uh, over the last, you know, maybe five years. And meditating every day, having a practice of meditation is absolutely essential to that mental resilience. And this is especially important for the students in my master's program, International Security Studies, because these are hard charging, very ambitious people. Most of them are working a job and getting a master's at the same time. And you can do that to a point and eventually you hit a wall unless you've built those, those habits. So I encourage everyone, you know, start meditating.